Bradley Center on the campus of Ramapo College in Mawa, New Jersey. WCTV is proud to present the 2015 Jamboree Championship. Hello everybody, I'm Larry DeFury along with John Francola and the gang of WCTV, all the volunteers of WCTV. John, we are here with the finals. It all started back in our preview show. We previewed the 22 teams with the Jamboree Committee, Paul Pugliese and uh, Ed Kraumer and it meandered through the opening rounds, the second rounds, through Bergen Catholic, it went through Northern Highlands, Tenafly, <laughs> and eventually wound up here at the Ramapo College, the quarters, the semis, and today we have Bergen Catholic, number three seed, and number five seed, Teaneck John, a three and a five, great games. We thought it may come down to either one of these teams. In fact, there were four teams that could have made it to this point. We're now down to the final two. You have probably the two best right now. They're both playing their best ball all year. And the number three Bergen Catholic had a game against Teaneck, 95 to 72, whatever, 24, 25 points. You got to forget that game. They're both different, and the game is going to be a lot closer than that. Let's talk about Teaneck. If they win tonight, unprecedented five championships in a row. Under Curtis, under under uh, Smart, Jamome Smart, five championships. John, they come in with a dynamic duo in the backcourt. I don't know if anybody could stay with them. We spoke to the coaches after the game. And we said speed kills. Levant Washington and Jacque James, they're, freshman and a sophomore. They're phenomenal. Uh, just to give you an example, Jacque James against Pascac Valley he only had three, ten threes. Larry. 10 threes. Some people only have 10 threes the whole year. And of course, you got Leandre Washington, who I believe, he'll go three on one. Three defenders in him, and he'll go to the hoop and put the ball in the basket. Also, so, they'll take Bannerman out, they'll bring Deering in, and it makes it even faster. And on a court like this, that speed really put a crimp in Don Bosco in the semifinals that made Teaneck able to pull away and Don Bosco never really got good shots. So right. That speed of Teaneck is going to go up against very, very talented uh, and, and Bergen Catholic. we should Catholic say team. speed kills. kills. Now, Bergen Catholic, uh, they're one of the better players we've seen come down the pike in a long time. He wears number zero, Pierre Francesco Oliva. He does everything, John. He does the little things. He sets screens. He shoots. He rebounds. Offensive rebounds. Defensive rebounds. And also, you got Justin Salem, who shoots the three points. And if he's on today, Bergen's got a great chance of winning. When you look at uh, Oliva, Oliva's doing a great job. I mean, he's averaging over 22 points a game in the in the playoff. But then he has seven or eight blocks. He gets 14 or 15 rebounds against against. Um, uh, what's his name, down, uh, down in uh, New Jersey with, uh, they were playing... Um, North South Parkland? No, no, another school, forget about it. But he played that school at, um, with, um, oh boy, I tell you, the mind just went black. Let's forget about it. No, it was, it was with uh, Hurley down in St. Anthony. Saint Anthony. And with Hurley, he was the best player on the court. He had like 17 rebounds, had about 16, 17 points at Bergen Catholic. The young man is going to go to St. Joseph in Philadelphia. He's a fantastic athlete. He's got wingspan of seven-footer, and he can play point guard in two. And it's going to be the speed of Teaneck against that big inside play of uh, Bergen Catholic. But also, you've got other players that surround both these teams that, that can come up very big. It's a great game. Both teams have been in this playoffs many times. Bergen has the most appearance, appearances in the Jamboree, and Teaneck has the most championship. Bergen, and, Bergen Catholic and Teaneck, great game. People are flocking in, should be a standing room only crowd. Remember the last time that somebody beat Teaneck was Bergen Catholic. Now, if Teaneck wins tonight, that'd be seven out of eight, five in a row. That's simply and amazing. Jerome Smart has not lost here. Has not lost a game in the Jamboree since he took over. 29 straight. March. So, oh, I'm saying hello to people here. So it's getting ready for the tip-off. We'll turn it over to the voice of the Jamboree, Joe Hausman. And we also would like to thank the uh, Jamboree Committee for giving us these wonderful oh. vests that we're wearing tonight. want to thank... 
Paul and and uh, Ed and the rest of the gang at the committee. We look beautiful. I don't know. They made us look. They made us look too good. We, we almost, need we need some black paint or something on the head. We, 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 we turn to the people. We turn to our cameras and the people here are ready to throw popcorn. Chuck McGreen, the coach at Gramercy, is making popcorn. I think they're going to be throwing at us before the end of the game. Can you believe that though? The St. Anthony boy. Sometimes the mind goes. I apologize hey, that's for okay. that. It happens to all of us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We'll be back with Joe Hausman's introductions in just a moment. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Bradley Center here at Ramapo College for this evening's game, a final game for the 2015 Bergen County Basketball Jamboree Championship. Before we begin our introductions, I have the pleasure to introduce to you our co-chairman here in the Jamboree Committee, Mr. Paul Pigalese. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 59th. Oscar F. Thompson, Memorial Bergen County Jamboree. Before we, we, we begin, I would like to acknowledge and thank the Bergen County Coaches Association for their support, all of our sponsors, and the Jamboree Committee for their extensive efforts. Leon Steinberg, John Ryan, Ed Kraumer, Rookie Corcoran, and Chris Annabelle. I'd also like to thank Tom Curry, our Bergen County Coaches Association liaison, and Pete DeFranco, who assigns our uh, officials. For the past 43 years before this game, the BCCA and the Jamboree Committee has presented the annual Howard H. Bollerman Award for outstanding contribution to Bergen County boys basketball. Howard Bollerman was an outstanding athlete, coach, and educator at Hackensack and was very instrumental in beginning this tournament back in 1951. This year's recipient, Gerald Acreage. Gerald coached the Raiders of Dwight Morrow High School for 15 years. His team's success is very impressive. During that time, they won eight sectional championships, nine league championships, and they were almost always in this tournament. They made it to the semifinals six times, and in 2000, Gerald's team captured this tournament title. A graduate of Raripo College, if you go out in the hallway, you can see his Hall of Fame plaque. Also, in 2011, Gerald was inducted into the New Jersey State Coaches Hall of Fame. But what is most memorable for those who saw him coach and for those of us who coached and lost is the way that Gerald comported himself. Gerald was always the epitome of class and sportsmanship. Intense and focused and always looking to win, he set an amazing example for the rest of us in this profession. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2015 Bollerman Award winner, Gerald Acreage. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening's final game will feature the Highwaymen of Teaneck High School, coached by Mr. Jerome Smart, and the Crusaders of Bergen Catholic High School, coached by Mr. Bill Armstrong. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the entire rosters for both teams, alternating teams, and beginning with the non-starters. For the Highwaymen, 
and of Teaneck High School, number 35, Ebenisa Alumase, number 35. For the Crusaders of Bergen Catholic High School, Tyson at the end, number one. For Teaneck High School, number 10, Amadou Barre, number 10. For Bergen Catholic High School, number 15, Connor Sellers, number 15. For the Highwaymen of Teaneck High School, number 22, Malcolm McLeod, number 22. For the Crusaders of Bergen Catholic High School, number 23, Rona Esiade, number 23. For Teaneck High School, number 13, Chandler Davenport. Number 13. For Bergen Catholic, and number 11, Jack Hardigan. Number 11. For the Crusaders of Bergen Catholic High School, number 12, Neil Despirito. Number 12. For the Crusaders of Bergen Catholic, number 30, Ryan Matthews. Number 30. For the Highwaymen of Teaneck High School, number 12, Kevin Gibbs, number 12. And for Bergen Catholic High School, injured number 22, Anthony Ribe, number 22. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your starters for this evening's final. Starting at guard for the Highwaymen, a five foot, eight inch freshman, number 41, Jaquay James, number 41. At the guard position for the Crusaders of Bergen Catholic, a six foot, two inch sophomore, number three, Taj Benning, number three. Starting at forward for the Highwaymen, a six foot and a four inch junior, number four, Nick Whitaker, number four. Starting at guard for the Crusaders of Bergen Catholic, a five foot, 11 inch junior, number 10, Riley Welsh, number 10. At the forward position this evening for Teaneck, a six foot, four inch senior, number 15, Zachary Olukane, number 15. At the forward position for the Crusaders, a six foot, four inch senior, number 21, Michael Majeo, number 21. Starting at guard for the Highwaymen of Teaneck, a six foot, two inch seat junior, number five, Gianni Bannerman, number five. 
at the guard position this evening for Bergen Catholic. A six foot senior, number four, Justin Salem, number four. And starting at guard for the Highwaymen this evening, a five foot, nine inch sophomore, number three, Leandre Washington, number three. And starting at the forward position for the Crusaders of Bergen Catholic, a six foot, eight inch senior, zero, Pierre Francesco Oliva. Number zero. Your starting lineup for the Highwaymen of Teaneck High School, Crusaders of Bergen Catholic High School. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd ask that you please rise as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. All right. Well, the introductions of the teams have been completed by the voice of the Jamboree, <coughs> Joe Hausman. The Bollerman Award was award given, awarded to Gerald Acreage, and we go back a long time with Coach Acreage. One of the finer gentlemen we've met over the years, John. What a great gentleman he was, he is, and he deserves this award. <laughs> Great coach at Inglewood. Great human being. He's a father to a lot of players. And he had about 35 pairs of shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. We used to tease him all the time about his shoes. There he is right there, Larry, on, on TV. I don't he, know. John, I'm having a problem hearing you. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, how's, how do you hear me now? All right. We'll continue. All right. You know what? I'm going to get real close and intimidated with Larry here. Thank you. <laughs> you better now? Or? No. No. No? All right. Well, you know what? We'll talk louder. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, Larry. 2015. All right. I hear you now, John. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the squirrels are out. We are ready. The finals will begin. Olakani and Oliva. Oliva plays all oh. the positions. <laughs> this is Whitaker and Oliva. This is Whitaker and Oliva. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it looks like everything's back to normal. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes. Hey, listen, uh, they're having trouble with the uh, the possession arrow, and I'm having trouble with this <laughs> box down here. So something's going on here with electricity. Probably somebody from the moon is coming down. <laughs> oh, we're ready now. Or oh, is the moon out tonight? <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Whitaker. And Whitaker's a junior, by the way. The uh, scorekeeper for the highwayman says, oh, by the way, he's only a junior. I oh. said, oh. I said Thank you. The cheerleaders of Chinek are here. Very athletic. <laughs> they were throwing people all over the place, Larry. We're I thought you were going to catch one of them. <laughs> uh, they <st> <coughs> there we go. We're having through March on this channel. The Bergen Jamboree. All of March will be the ma ma madness. will be high school men. <coughs> we are ready. The crowd is finally getting into this now. Here we go. The ball comes <coughs> down. All the Oli Connie has hands to Washington, and we are starting. Washington. Watch by Benning. James pulls back. Defense, 
James working on Salem. <laughs> Olakani will take, uh, will be on with Salem. <laughs> Jumping around, no good, and out of bounds as Olakani and Oliva went up for it. Yeah, Oliva looks like he knocks that out of bounds. Great matchup right now. Look at the, a lot of communication out there right there, Larry. You gotta talk, you gotta talk. Well, look at it, they're ready to block off any entry. James pulls back. This is like a little feeling out period here. <clears throat> James stops, looks, and hits. Taquan James breaks the seal. Two nothing. The freshman who's a sophomore. He's a place <laughs> like a senior. That's true. Oliva. Oh, nice fed. Nice give and go there. Oliva Salem. to Salem. We are tied, 2-2. Two -two. Washington in, oh. knocked away from behind. Looks like number two. Looked like Benning got him. Benning got him from behind, blocked the ball. Yeah. Stolen oh. by Welch. Welch quickly up, over to Salem. Salem quickly puts it up, no good, banging around. Whitaker has it. He comes Actually down, walk. and they go to the Yeah, once, you, once you're on the floor. Aggressive move by Burton Catholic, going to the hoop twice in a row. Salem driving to the basket. What a shooter, what a Benny player he is. Looking, 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 still looking. And gets it out to Welch. 4.6. <laughs> <So close. laughs> On infection. my watch. Benning. Majeo way outside, and he hits it. Majeo. Michael Majeo for three. <coughs> James. <coughs> nice move. <coughs> James puts it up. Bounce it around, they're gonna say it came off from J.O. Great defense that time by uh, Francisco Oliva underneath to block the play. <laughs> Billy Armstrong won this in 94 as a player. Trying to win it as a coach, he'd be the second coach to win it as a player and coach. Mike Doherty of St. Mike Joe's. Mike Doherty was the other one, that's Virginia, right. Yeah. James. <laughs> Watch, <coughs> Olukani was watched closely by Oliva. There goes Washington, taken down by Oliva. James cut him off. <coughs> J.O. over to Welch. <coughs> Benning drives the baseline, cut off. J.O. Salem wanted it. Salem puts it runner oh. up and hits. A running one hand uh, by Justin Salem. 7 2. <laughs> Stolen by Mujeo. Quickly up court to Welch. To Salem. Back to Welch. Mujeo wants it from the outside. Three pointer. No good. Oh. Banging around. Salem <laughs> loses it. Has it back. Cross court. Benning. Stern stops. <coughs> Mujeo banging around. Cross court to Welch. And they're going to say he was on the line. Go the other way. 7 to 2. Bergen Catholic over Tinek. They're playing extremely excellent fast. movement. Wow, both teams came out fast. Oliva's had three rebounds already, and then he takes the ball up court. James, Washington from downtown, hits. Leandre Washington makes it a seven to five game, <coughs> Bergen Catholic. You cannot let him have room out there. He's deadly. Oliva watched by Bannerman. <laughs> Welch. He gets it to, here goes Mujeo. Puts it inside <laughs> Oliva, puts it up, no good. Wins the basket, Whitaker <laughs> has it, hands to Washington. <laughs> Three bodies on the floor. <laughs> Washington. Oh, what a pass. Great pass inside to Whitaker. Back outside to James. James rims the basket, banging around. They're gonna call Whitaker over the top. Great box out by Majeo. <laughs> Gibbs will come in for 
So Kevin Gibbs, number 12 for the high minute Teaneck come in. Teaneck won four in a row. They're going for five final championships, eh, John? Six out of seven, there will be seven out of eight. <laughs> and the last team that beat him was Bergen Catholic. Oliva, ball getting passed around. Salem. Welch. Oliva, bounce pass, tried to <coughs> right to feed Mujeo. Stolen. Washington very quickly puts it up and is fouled in a count. <coughs> So it's 7-7 with Washington having a shot. Yes. Are, are they quick or what? Unbelievable. Sailing with the foul, but what a what a play. Part of the Teaneck contingency. <laughs> you know to make the foul shot. He's always perfect from the line. Six straight points for Teaneck. They now lead 8-7. Salem wants three, <laughs> rims the basket, no good. Taken down by Bannerman, quickly over to Washington. Washington <coughs> wants three, bangs oh. it up there, no good. Welch has it, fights his way out, gets around James. Welch. <laughs> There's Oliva, throws out to Benning. Benning shoots, is gonna be off the rim. <coughs> Bannerman has, hands to James, James comes up. James drives on Welch. Stops, goes. Bannerman puts it up. <coughs> and they're going to call a foul. And a basket. Bannerman for the basket. And Bannerman hits the basket. That's, eight, that's an 8 0 run here, John, by Teaneck. Absolutely. <laughs> but they're making the shots and getting fouled. And a shooter's roll. Got everything. So <laughs> with 2.40 to go, Teaneck with an 9-0 run now leads 11-7 over Bergen Catholic. <laughs> a little 2-3 zone, by the way. Inside to Oliva. <clears throat> Rip goes in. Cut off. Surrounded. Mujeo, <coughs> Benning, and he's fouled. <coughs> Looks like number five on the foul. Bannerman. So, so Bannerman, Bannerman picks up the foul. Benning will get two shots. And this is gonna be key from the line. You gotta make foul shots today. Makes the first one. So Bannerman will sit down and Tyler Deary. The triple in time, the three, third guard in the, on the floor. So they went from uh, four, giving four gear to way overdrive now. Deary is an instant offense. 11 8. So Benning makes two, 11-9. <coughs> Part of the Bergen crowd here, big crowd. The ball gets whipped out of bounds off Benning. Washington will throw, no, De Deering will not throw in. A little in bit of full court. court, a little bit of full court press. Modified though. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. In comes James. James. Oh. That's going to be an infraction. And the ball's going to go over to Bergen Catholic. David, David Logan will come in for the Crusaders number five. Mujeo will sit down. Three-pointer. And that's Salem. <laughs> Justin Salem hits from the outside. 
He's and, got seven. And Bergen Catholic now takes a one point lead. Deering. Blocked by Oliva. And Whitaker a was rebound. Blocked. He's going to bring it down. Salem, you got to stay on him. And even then, oh. you, he's, he's good for a shot. He's quick. Quick release, over 83s. Long shot, good! <laughs> Benning, a what two, a shot. Two point. At two points. It's a three point lead now for, for Bergen Catholic. Hearing, cross court. Can't get Washington room. Washington wants three. No good. Gibbs has, and Gibbs goes all over Oliver and lays it in. We are at 14 13. Quickly up court to Logan. <coughs> Logan puts it up. No good. Block. By Alucani, hands off to Washington. Washington all the way down, lays it up, puts it up, no good. Gibbs has it, throws it back out to James. James, no good, comes down, Logan has. And a whistle on the play as Salem gets ahead of the crowd. Two outstanding play on defense by Oliva that time to block the shot. Oh, it's gonna be a track race. Highwaymen hell, as they say. But the Crusaders are on their horses. <laughs> Boy, you gotta keep. You gotta keep your rifle on them. <laughs> they pickpocket <laughs> Exactly what we expected. A sprint. <laughs> Thank God. Well, he picks it up slowly. <laughs> Wait, well, just take a little break right here. You give us a break. <laughs> one point differential. Let's see if they shoot for one, go for one shot with 24 seconds to go. And it looks like that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> well, they wanted them to come out of the uh, zone. And once now, you're counting. 12 seconds, 10 seconds, eight seconds. Salem, about to shoot for three ah! and hits oh! on the outside for three. Just not one, Salem but hits two, it. but three. And that will do the first quarter with Bergen Catholic taking a 17-13 lead over Teaneck here on the campus of Ramapo College at the Bill Bradley Center. You are watching WCTV, the all-volunteer group from the township of Washington. The Bergen County Coast Association and the Jamboree Committee would like to thank the generous sponsors for supporting the 2015 Oscar F. Thompson Memorial Bergen County Jamboree. To the doctor, John Frank Cole's <laughs> favorite place to go to on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon. Lifesavers Incorporated. I'm doing Aaron, so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Mentally. Aaron, Aaron Ambulance, Sports Time. Thank you. Mountain Valley Spring Water, great water. We drank it throughout the uh, tournament. Ring City Dry Basketball. Our dear friend John Blackgrove runs that up there. The Bergen Record and WCTV. Our heart and soul we give to them. But Salem has 10 points in the first quarter. Couple of threes, you can't give him an inch. He takes three points on you. Well, here we are. As you see, Salem leads all scorers, both teams with 10 points. And Washington leads Teaneck with six. We start the second quarter. Packed house here on the beautiful Bill Bradley Center at Ramapo <coughs> College. Yeah, we have a four point differential, right? 17 13. How about having a zone out of Teaneck? I don't think I've ever seen that. They've never played a zone. They usually play, they play nose, hard nose, <laughs> man on man. I guess they wanted to take uh, Oliva out of the game. Inside, they all, they want to get two or three on him. Now, this may be a little box and one right now on, on Salem. <laughs> Berger can't get the ball inside. They're trying. <clears throat> yeah, it's tough. You got to stay patient if you offense. What a play. Oh, great pass. Oh. Logan, look, Oliva had the shot. <laughs> Made a great pass. Got the rebound. Couldn't get the ball in on the layup. James brings it up. A no-look pass underneath. He does everything. You watch him. He, he plays the entire game. Crossover. Olukani has a wide open. One thing about the uh, T-neck players, John, if they're open, they're gonna shoot and they're gonna hit most of them. They're not gonna miss an open shot. 
Bannerman will be poured in for Gianni. That's, that's Oliva nice has inside, surrounded. Three, three players. What's we gotta do? Oliva. Oh, dunks. a slam dunk bang. So Pierre Francesco Oliva dunked it. Deering said, I can shoot from the outside. Here we go. So three points by Tyler Deering. Makes it a 19-18 game. He's a senior, but he's part of the trifecta with Teaneck. The shooters from outside. Yeah, somebody got pushed down. <laughs> Bodies are hitting no the No blood, We're, we go on. <laughs> Pierre Francesco oh. wins the basket. Logan with insight. And they're gonna call a jump ball. And the play with the arrow goes to Teaneck. Bannerman's going to go in, and Whitaker will sit down. So 1918, what we expected. Nice year, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> to the doctor. A lot of things happened 1918. <laughs> they do, yeah. <laughs> Couple of million uh, Russians died. <laughs> World War One. <laughs> Washington gets everybody up in the air. Miss it. Salem navigating. Coming all the way down. Continue, stops, throws court. Banning, Welch. Welch crossed it. Oh, there's money. Salem, Salem Ooh. will be short. James has it on the run. Coming down, cross court, Woo! puts it up. No oh. good. Saved by Logan. <laughs> what a and speed. a foul from behind <laughs> by Welch. Oh, that ball went in and came back out. The speed. Ray Cortez, number two, will check in for Bergen County. A sophomore. I missed who had the foul, but we don't have to worry about foul. I think it was, I think it could have been Washington, John. My head, my head Washington, was down. Yeah, mine, the crowd just started screaming. Oh. <laughs> They're gonna call jump ball. Bannerman was able to get him. Ball will go over. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. We can't we can't say what's going on down here. John's laughing. All right, 1918. <laughs> Oliva surrounded. Stolen by Washington. <laughs> here comes Washington to James. James is open for three. Rims the basket. Oliva has the rebound, fires it up court to that's Salem. An, Salem has the rest of the way, lays it up and in. And Bergen takes a 21-18 lead. Quickly, Washington <laughs> in the forecourt. Switches spears, reverses oh, laid up play. and in. Oh. As he reverses his clip and lays it in. It's 21-20 with 4.35 <laughs> to go. Welch has the ball. He's watched by Deering. What a game. <laughs> They're the trying speed. to put his... <laughs> They're trying to put a little stop. Francesco shoots, no good. Taken down by Bannerman. Hands to Washington. It's a one-point lead for Bergen. Washington over to Okani. Stops, looks, shoots, no good. Taken down by Oliva again. Six rebound for Oliva. Oliva hands off to Welch. Welch slows down to Salem. Salem wants a deep one. Shoots, oh! and he hits from almost half court. 15 points for... Salem. 15 for Salem. 24-20. <coughs> Bergen Catholic. Washington. Oh. <coughs> Washington somehow gets his own rebound. Puts it up, no good. Bouncing around, comes to Salem. Salem, cross. Cortez from the corner, shoots, no good. Rims the basket. Olukani to Washington. We go the other way. Over to James. James backs it up. James, cross. Puts over. it up, no good. Laid in by Olukani on the rebound. It's 24-22. Being in the right place and getting the rebound. Olukani with the layup. Welch with three minutes and six seconds to go. Salem for three, rims the basket. No good, Olukani with the rebound. Quickly over to James. James comes to the forecourt. Quickly, pass Welch, knocked away by Oliva. 
That's my area, he says. Olukani will sit down. Gibbs will come in for the highwaymen. I think the team that has the ball the last play will win this game. <laughs> Manaman hands to James now. James holds the ball, watched by Salem. Gibbs is going to try to set up a screen. James, Deering drives in, stops, looks, shoots. No good. Comes out to Benning. Benning holds the ball quickly, brings it up by himself now. Almost stolen. <laughs> what a move by Benning. Rebound, and they're going to call a foul. <coughs> Benning <laughs> thought he had was a great oh, speedy what a move. move. He's a sophomore, I think, Benny. Yeah, sophomore. What a move on that. He made a move out here, and then he, inside, unbelievable, the ball in and out. So Oliva will go to the line. <coughs> Hits it. So Oliva will go to the line again. <coughs> Misses second one. 25-22, Bergen Catholic leads. <coughs> James holds the ball out, watched by Oliva. <coughs> now if he gets a layup on Oliva. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there goes James, Deering. Working on Salem. Throws to Lucani. Holds up. <coughs> James. Outside to Bannerman. Bannerman, no good. Cortez quickly. Stolen oh. by Deering. Deering now stops, looks, shoots, rims the basket. No good. Bannerman <coughs> has it knocked foot, and the ball goes off Oliva with 145 to go. And Tinek is calling for a timeout with we 145 need a timeout. to go. <laughs> 25-22, Bergen Catholic leads. Teaneck, you are watching the finals of the 59th Oscar F. Thompson Memorial Bergen County Jamboree. Also, you are watching WCTV, the old volunteer access group from the township of Washington, Bergen County, New Jersey. Uh. Twenty-five, twenty-two, in favor of Bergen Catholic. <coughs> it's the Bergen Catholic crap. Tom Curry, who the AD at Bergenfield, just looked at me and shook his head like, "What a like what a game!" Oh my God, you missed. This is some game. One forty-four to go. <coughs> Washington. They're going to call Cortez on a foul. So Washington will go to the line for two. He's perfect from the line. Hit another one. Last game he had, I think, 10 for 10. Welch <laughs> comes in for Bergen Catholic, and Kevin Gibbs comes in for Tinek. <laughs> Made two. Welch He's makes got 10 it up. Point. We are point different at 25-24. Benning, Welch. Benning way outside, rims the basket. Ruggiero is pushed away from the ball nicely. Up court quickly, Olukani. <laughs> Excellent move Right by hand Okan. layup going from left to right. Teaneck now has a one point lead, 26-25. Welch. <laughs> Benny. Welch has. Mujeo. Look who's gotten uh, Oliva, Washington. Welch wants a long <coughs> one, and he hits. That's big. Well, Raleigh Welch, it's a three-point, it's a two-point <laughs> lead now for 
Bergen Catholic, Deering pushes it outside. James rims the basket. <coughs> Oliva rips the basket Seventh down. Rebound. With 35 seconds to go. Welch will bring the ball up. 28-26, Bergen Catholic leads. Big shot for Welsh, because that changes the defense. Somebody else can shoot from outside. You Only keep hearing four, watch for four. Yeah, great That's Salem. <laughs> Oliva backing up, <coughs> Olukani. <coughs> there goes Welch, outside. Rims the bed, no good. Gives with the rebound, hands to Washington, who fires it Count down it. court, and it's no good. So a half is over in the finals. Here at the Bill Bradley Center on the campus of Ramapo College, and Bergen Catholic takes a 28-26 lead to the half time over Teaneck. You are watching WCTV, the old volunteer group from the township of Washington. Woof. These are the uh, cheerleaders for the Teaneck Highwaymen.